Okay, so today we are going to learn about uh, conclusion, how to write conclusions. Okay, all right. So what an essay consists, you have seen this again, you have seen this before, you are seeing this again. Uh, but today, but right now, we're going to look at only conclusion. So conclusion is basically the restatement of thesis statement. Uh, you need to wrap up the main points and you need to demonstrate the importance of your ideas. You need to strengthen your case. That is what a conclusion is about. Okay. All right, so the conclusion is the final paragraph of an essay. It has three purposes. The first one is the sig it signals the end of the essay. Uh, the second one, it reminds the reader the, of the main points by summarizing your subtopics or restate your thesis statement. So you know what is a thesis statement already from the introduction. Now, in your conclusion, you need to summarize it. Okay, You need to restate it. Okay. So that is to strengthen your case. And finally, it leaves the reader with your final thoughts on the topic. Now, restatement of thesis statement and wrap up what it is. Okay, here's an example. Earlier on, we, on introduction, uh, we did uh, a question on hobbies, the benefit of hobbies. So here, we have a, a conclusion for that. In conclusion, hobbies truly help us to lead better lives. By having suitable hobbies, we can release our stress during our difficult days. Similarly, Hobbies also helps us to develop, um, actually it's an error here. Similarly, hobbies also help, there's no S here. Uh, hobbies also help us to develop our skills, which subsequently lead, uh, subsequently enables us to earn a side income. So you are restating your PC statement. All right. So what I did was I put the first uh, point here and then number two and number three, I just combined it. Okay, techniques to write a memorable conclusion. Demonstrate the importance of your ideas. So now this is for the third part. Huh? Remember, there are three parts, right? Uh, restate, wrap up, and then C. So this part is the, is the third part. Okay, so in demonstrate the importance of your ideas, what you are actually saying is you want to strengthen your argument. So again, there are four things. Uh, there are four ways, sorry, there are four ways to write this. Okay, the first one, you make a prediction. The second one, you suggest a result or consequences. Uh, third one, you suggest a solution. You make a recommendation or call for action. The fourth one is you quote an authority on the subject. Uh, if you remember, uh, in the first video, writing introduction, uh, we use Cristiano Ronaldo as the authority. The authority is basically orang yang berkuasa. All right, so maybe for here, you can use back Ronaldo or you can use back some, anyone else that you feel like who's quite relevant to the topic. Okay, make a prediction. By having a beneficial hobby, it will help you to lead a more meaningful and purposeful life. So you're making a prediction. By having a good hobby, you will have a meaningful life. If you do not have a hobby, you might waste your time doing wasteful activities. Again, this is a prediction, right? Now, suggest a result or consequences. It is quite similar to prediction, okay? Uh, having beneficial hobbies will improve your lifestyle. Meanwhile, having no hobbies can be dangerous because it may lead you to do illegal and harmful things such as consuming drugs or illegal racing. Again, if you look at prediction and you look at uh, uh, suggesting a result or consequence, it's, a, it's quite similar. Okay? It will overlap a bit. So you can just choose what you want. You, can, you really need to look at the topic. If the topic is something like a pollution, for example, so you can say, if pollution is not controlled, if pollution is not curbed, uh, the world will be destroyed, the world will be diminished. Uh, human beings will lose their, uh, their habitat. Uh, there's also a consequence, right? And there's also like a prediction. So it's very similar. So it depends on the topic. In this case, we have hobbies. And hobbies is not something that you can uh, write. A, it's not something that you can expand a lot, right? It's quite, it's quite restrictive. Okay. Suggest a solution, make a recommendation or call for action. So I've given you three examples. So if solution, if you do not have a hobby, I suggest you to take up creative hobbies such as drawing or even editing videos because then you can spend your time wisely. If you want to make a recommendation, uh, I recommend you to find hobbies that align with your interests. If you're interested in drawing, then you can pick up drawing as a hobby or a call for action. I urge you to not waste, to waste any more time and pick up beneficial hobbies. This will enable you to live a more healthy lifestyle. So again, these are three different ways that you can um, strengthen your case to demonstrate the importance of your ideas. And the last one, quote an authority on the subject. 
uh, following Ronaldo's advice, a footballer who has I missed the word here, uh, he has who, uh, who has won more awards than any other footballers. It is certain that we need to choose right hobbies. If we choose wrong hobbies or no hobbies, then it can be dangerous for our mind. Remember, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. This is a very bad uh, What it means is minda yang kosong adalah tempat setan bekerja, something like that. Lah. That is what it means in translation. As Ronaldo said, a good hobby will attract a lot of success. So it is necessary we have beneficial hobbies. Okay. So this is another way to strengthen your case. So end your end with your final thoughts to strengthen your case again. So conclude by strengthening your argument or your suggestion. You can start with therefore, thus, hence, uh, and by stating why your argument is necessary and what are the implications, implicas, implicacy to the reader's future. Okay, we're going to look at my example here. In conclusion, hobbies truly help us to lead better lives. That is my, um, I'm, drawn, I'm trying to uh, end my, my conclusion. I'm trying to end my essay, so that's my first line. Uh, my, by having suitable hobbies, we can release our stress during our difficult days. Similarly, hobbies also helps us to develop our skills, which subsequently enables us to earn a side income. This I'm restating the thesis statement here. Having beneficial hobbies will improve your lifestyle. Meanwhile, having no hobbies can be dangerous because it may lead you to do illegal or, and harmful things, such as consuming drugs or illegal racing. All right. This one is basically I'm demonstrating the importance of my ideas, uh, and I think I'm using, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's very similar. Uh, the accent number four, number four is quite distinct. You can unpack that. Uh, I think what I'm doing is I'm using number two and number one uh, so to write my to, strength, to, to demonstrate the importance of my ideas. And then finally, I'm, my final thoughts is this. Therefore, hobbies are important in shaping our personalities and also our future. So I can believe kepada our future. Okay. And then there are some links for conclusion here. Okay. Uh, so for example, you don't want to use therefore because you're bored of this word. Uh, you can also use so many other words like, for example, like by and large, all things considered, on the whole, in outline, uh, after all. You cannot use then, right, because then is slipas itu. So if you want to end with your final thoughts, you should not use then or you should not use so. But you can use most of the other words like evidently, finally, right. So you have to go through this list if you want to, uh, if you want to find a, a nicer ending, a nicer link for your ending. Okay, that's all for today. Um, and remember to complete your task uh, and that's about it. Thank you so much.